<laughs> it's gonna happen. Come on, Ross. I'm gonna give him two, two, two signs of rock. Either that, or you actually had four farts that were just building up in size, and you were gonna do the old Ross, pull my finger, pull my finger. <laughs> And you just went, no, there's more than one lot of gas in there. Pull both my fingers, come on! And then just went, oh, God, no. I've been eating particularly gassy drinks this afternoon. It's going to be three, loss. Pull off, no, four! Pull off four fingers! And then imagine if I had. Imagine if I'd just run down going, yeah! And then just, I don't even know how I would do that. I would, I'd have to get one of my crew would have to run out, and I'd just go, I'll get these two, you get the other two. And we just pull like that, and uh, that much gas, it would oh, it'd be a shocking state of everyone there would just be blown away. And so it'd be like in Terminator, you know, where she's like, Whoa! and then all the people are like this, and it's just ash. And yeah, the, uh, I mean, the people getting blown away in a nuclear style apocalypse. I don't remember in Terminator the bit where Sarah Connor, where the Terminator went, pull my fingers. <laughs> What? Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> hey! And that'd, that'd be mad as well, because you're going like this, and I'd be pulling those ones, and he'd be pulling that. Oh, it'd, it'd be like we were milking you down the front there. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, oh, I'd, uh, what a beautiful way to greet the front row that would be as well. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if I just walked out at the start of every show and everyone just put their hands up like that and I just walked along just doing that all the way, all the way along. No, oh, welcome along, people. Hi. Oh, welcome. Don't worry. In you come. Come on. Get them up. I'll milk you. Come on. I'll milk you right now. The, uh... The, uh, I'll tell you what, it's a good job you were sitting there, because if you were sitting about six foot that way, <laughs> oh, he goes like that, I give it a... That's Terminator I'm doing now. <laughs> Look at that. I've never seen a room full of people not get a mime on quite such a grand scale. What's that? I don't... I don't understand that. Just ask me if there's anything that's too wrong for you, too weird for you, or it doesn't make sense. Just go, excuse me, Ross, we don't know what that is. <laughs> well, the fact that you were quite happy for me to just go... Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> I think he's crushing grapes with robot legs. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, where, where were you out of interest? Where you... <laughs> Is it me? What's going on? I'm only trying to be <laughs> He's actually talking to us. That's not supposed to happen. That's, that, he's supposed to go to the theatre. You're not meant to be allowed to join in. The last time I did, I got thrown out. The, uh, no, it's all right. Where, 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 where did you, you were? What? You were trying to find a park. Oh, I see. Like a car park or a... <laughs> uh, like swings and that. on the roundabout. This is brilliant! I think we're going to miss the start of the show if we're not. <laughs> the, um... <laughs> what were you doing? I was trying to find a park and then we found one. It was brilliant. <laughs> Wait, where did you park in the end? Out of interest. <laughs> the where? Loading the loading zone. <laughs> what, round the back of the venue? Oh, what? Well, oh, somebody else has chipped in over here. <laughs> That's a parking attendant putting his head out the door. You won't be there when I get back. <laughs> the, what did you say, mate? Give him a call. Oh, give him a call. I thought you said give him a call. <laughs> Jesus, that's an odd thing to do, isn't it? Sorry you're late for the show here. Would you like this tropical bird? <laughs> All right, then. Thanks very much. <laughs> people, people, everyone that turns up late to my show gets a different <laughs> tropical bird. 
I got a macaw, really. I got a parakeet. <laughs> the. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I was about to do a cockatoo joke there, but I thought, no, walk away. The, uh, yeah, no, stop it. Stop it, Ross. The, uh, it was in the air. I thought, shall I head it in? No, let's not, let's, let's, no. oh, God, no. Anyway, give him a call. OK, lovely. Excellent. I see what's happened here. I see a recurring theme developing. Either no information or information, but no repeating. The, uh, Or did he say, G -g -g give him a call? Do you mean like some sort of phone call? And now I'm gonna have to deduce. This is gonna be like, it's, it's gonna be like watching Columbo live on stage. <laughs> now then, what was he saying? Give him a call. What sort of call was it? What kind of call would that guy, what, like a mating call of some description? Some, <laughs> I don't know what sort of animal that was. I couldn't decide whether to make it a bird or some sort of mammal. And so I kind of went like that at the same, you know. <laughs> it appears to be some sort of mammal with uh, a hat on. <laughs> the, um, yeah. <laughs> and that's not gonna, no one's gonna wanna shag it if that's the case, is it? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You're an idiot, piss off. <laughs> Well, what are you? I don't even know. <laughs> but I'm not shagging you with that hat on. The, um, give him a call. The, uh, call? Give him a call. Give him a call. Or was it give him a call? One of the Irish singing group. <laughs> give him a call. Yeah, he has Andrea call. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? I don't want to be given away. <laughs> <laughs> Does she play a flute? No, I'm thinking of someone else. Jethro Tull. Anyway, <laughs> look at that. That was great. He all went, huh? And one blow down there with, <laughs> <laughs> What an excellent musical reference that was. <laughs> anyway, the... <laughs> I love the fact that now loads of, loads of you will go home tonight just going, I don't know about Jethro Tull. And then all of a sudden, Jethro Tull's website will get like a massive spike. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they'll be sitting there like that, just going, blimey, the people of Australia, for some reason, really like us all of a sudden. <laughs> and they'll book tours and gigs here, and then no one will show up. <laughs> Who was responsible for booking this debacle? You said that there was a sudden spike in popularity. Why did you book such a big venue? Where are we playing? At the showgrounds. <laughs> We should have played an agricultural showground. <laughs> and then if people didn't enjoy the music, we could have simply done some ploughing. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> if when the Bon Jovi or someone turns up, you know, Iron Maiden playing the bit. <laughs> if they just had a small plough attached to that and just pulling it along like that. <laughs> to please both the, uh, to please both the rock fans, but also the farmers. You put your hand up. Well done, mate. Sorry? Oh, you're the rock fans. I do apologise. Didn't I point at you? Yeah. <laughs> what the? Oh, it's good. I went, the rock fans. And he went, excuse me, we're the rock fans. And I went, didn't I just point at you there? And then I said, didn't I point at you? And he went, did you? I don't know. I can't. <laughs> well, this is... Look, the trouble with this show is you really can't... If you can't even remember ten seconds beforehand, <laughs> this is mad. By the time I get to the punchlines, you've forgotten the setups. <laughs> just going, <laughs> well, it sounds funny, but... <laughs> it's funny, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the, uh, I've decided that's what's going to be on my gravestone. <laughs> Here lies Ross Noble. Funny, but it didn't make sense. <laughs> and, uh, the, uh, I don't know what that is there. <laughs> I'm not going to have two hands coming out of the grave. <laughs> <laughs>